hi guys my name is Lua welcome back to my channel if you're new I'm a lifestyle family and health vlogger and I'll be giving you tips on how I lost over 20 kilos and how I've managed to maintain it off since then if this sounds like something that'll be of interest to you keep watching and if you're new to the channel you've not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and for all those who have come back thanks for coming back so let's get straight in I always have to mention that anybody re watching this video with any sort of health challenges please seek your doctor's approval before following my tips the point number one is let's learn to celebrate the big and the small wins what I talk about big wins is when you you believe that you've hit this milestone because most people kind of tack the, the weights goals in, in different phases they might have this ultimate goal to get to a size whatever once you hit one a milestone you think great you don't have to wait to hit a milestone celebrate every week celebrate every week the reason why I'm saying this is once you find out how hard it is to lose a quarter of a kilo you'll start celebrating the small wins and the reason why it's important to celebrate the small wins is it tells you how hard it will be to put this weight off and how easy it is to put it back on and before you put anything in your mouth you think how is this going to affect my way in day to why i say celebrate your big and small wins it will help you and have a routine it sounds really boring before we fell into this world pandemic most times when we go out right to work to social social events and things like that we we did not really have that much time to sit down bite our meals binge on, on on netflix binge on youtube and and all sorts of of tiktok videos we were in a structured regime which we did not realize we will go in the like i'll talk to myself i'll go to work in the morning put the steps in go for meetings meeting before i know it's one o'clock two o'clock i've had maybe my breakfast come back home you, all, you don't even realize going from one meeting room to the next how much you know you put in in terms of steps you're not idle to just think of the next thing downstairs to eat but with lockdown i learned that i had to have a very strict routine daily i'll plan my breakfast my lunch if i can i'll plan my, what i'm going to do in my day i don't just have time idling because that is when you fall into trouble yes we cannot carry on having this kind of a lifestyle like that but generally it does help me it's not all about my weight loss it's about discipline because I'm, I'm a busy mom like most of us are so having a routine does not only help with my, my healthy eating it helps with my overall success my overall output so have a routine this is similar to having a goal but if a woman especially and men alike that, that always helped me was buying a dress two or one size below me I'll put that dress there look at it but that alone helps okay so if you are able to um, avoid gluten in your diet please avoid it this is not applicable to everybody because if you are not based in this part of the world where we have ingredients and labeling for everything we buy from the shops it will be harder to tell if you're consuming gluten or not so i think this point should be if you can if you can afford gluten-free food by all means go for that because it'll help speed up your your weight loss journey and staying healthy long term this is in response to a lot of emails and texts and you know, messages and comments people saying um how how do i incorporate african meals in weight loss journey because i, I think we have more calorific meals carbs and the rest that might be true but you can adapt it if you're going to have okra which is so healthy you can have it with with a healthy fufu maybe twice a week if you really like, love to swallow something, it doesn't have to taste like the normal fufu or the gari, you know. You can try it with cauliflower rice, cauliflower fufu. You can try it with oat fufu. There's a lot of things I'm going to be keeping you with abreast with a lot of videos on how I try to adapt the meals to suit your calorie need and intake. Um, even the oils we use, like, um, I, I, you know, I don't remember the last time I put vegetable oil. One, I don't I hardly fry anything apart from maybe puff puff once in a while. I'll, I'll grill chicken, I'll grill fish, I'll grill pork, I'll grill beef. I would not deep fry them. 
Those are the little changes we can make. I'll use sunflower oil instead of vegetable oil. I'll use olive oil to make my salad. So things like that. Spinach is a very good one. Spinach is, is, is like God sent and we eat a lot of spinach. Frozen, diced, whole, fresh. You can you can you can adapt it into it's a, one of my staples and I'll I'll put out a, a quick you know video on how I prepare my, my spinach meals, keep it healthy and keep it keep it nice. And don't take shortcuts. What once you're on this on this journey on this lifestyle change, just stop calling it weight loss journey or diet plan. Lifestyle change. You'll have temptations, you want to take shortcuts. After watching videos, you have a lot of suggestions that happen to me. Suggestions that based on you know algorithms or whatever that will tell you the next video is a quick thing i took this tablet those i've taken the thing the crap that i've consumed over the years excuse my language the amount of wrong things I've, I've taken just to try and speed up the process before i learned that there were no shortcuts i don't want you to have to go through what i went through that's why i'm doing this to say there are no shortcuts it's a lifestyle change it is, it, yes, you can have times that it's like peaks and troughs. You can have lows. But overall, you have a goal. And that goal should stay consistent long term. That is what we're talking about. I've got three exciting bonus tips today. The first one is social media again. I seem to like it. I stay clear of videos, especially in the morning, they're all there to stimulate you. You go to Instagram, go to Facebook, based on your search history sometimes, because I'm a foodie, I love food. Sometimes I just like to watch people eat for fun. And Facebook will suggest all these videos. And once you start watching them, <laughs> trust me, you just want to go down to the kitchen to look for it. You get hungry, eat the, the, the saliva and all the, your brain tells your, your, your head that you might need to eat something. So yes. Try to avoid these meals. If you can, just click, just mute. Watch a, watch some inspirational talk. Avoid food on social media as a trap. Point number two on um, my bonus tips today is avoid your kitchen again if possible. This is till you have the discipline. When you're just starting off, it's hard. It's a temptation. Going downstairs. The days that I say to you know my family, I can't make you guys breakfast because you can make it yourself. Once I go down in the morning, it determines my day. How I start my day is really difficult. So yes, avoid your kitchen if you can. If you can't, I'm sure you'll get discipline that you need. The last of the points is have an off day. If you notice on the, the, the first two week diet plans, there was an off day that I offered because I believe that it is always best to have an off day where you know you're able to eat what you want. It'll be difficult for you to spoil all the hard work because your tummy might have shrunk before that off day. But it just gives you the motivation. When you say, I like everything that everybody else likes. And when I want to eat them, I want to enjoy them. So I have this off day. Sometimes it's a Saturday or a Sunday where I can eat what I want. The next day I get up, I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to spoil what I've done. So I snap straight back and I carry on. So that's for today. And this is episode three or four in episode Four, I'll give you a typical day in my life, how I juggle it all and I'll show you what I eat and how I get my steps in. Give us a thumbs up, share and don't forget to turn the notifications bell on. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.